Hi, my name's Tom Mosso and I'm the Conservation Officer for the Alderney Wildlife Trust. We're here today in the Longy Nature Reserve, which actually covers one eighth of the total area of our island at about 105 hectares. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a virtual tour of our reserve. The Longy Nature Reserve was established in 2003 through an agreement with the Alderney Wildlife Trust, the States of Alderney and some private landowners. It's home to 15 different terrestrial habitats and 49 marine biotopes. It's a very important area for some of our key species here in Alderney, including one of our endemics, the Alderney sea lavender, the Glanville fritillary and the sand crocus. It's also home to one of our two freshwater pond habitats with the Longy Pond. The Alderney Wildlife Trust volunteers also manage the rebed here and cut it on a rotation to prevent the encroachment of species such as brambles or the white poplar. This ensures that it remains a suitable habitat for breeding and migratory birds. Our conservation volunteers actually built this hide. It's a great place for the public to engage with the wildlife of the pond and observe the dragonflies and birds. Let me show you inside. Nineteen different species of dragonfly and damselfly have been recorded in Albany. Over recent years, Longy Pond has become the main locality to observe dragonflies on the island. The Alderney Grazing Animal Project, or ACAP, has been a feature of the Longy Nature Reserve from the start. The conservation herd maintains floral diversity through grazing. Our studies have shown that floral abundance and diversity increases in patches where we've had the conservation herd grazing. This, in turn, increases the attractiveness of Longy Nature Reserve to pollinators such as butterflies and birds. Right now, the AGAP herd is made up of only three cows, but we hope to be able to increase it in future. We're trying to measure the success of AGAP through our survey programme. For the Longy Nature Reserve, this means surveying regularly for bees and butterflies. We also run a moth trap weekly. Longy's landscapes have always been shaped by humans, especially in a military sense. Fortifications date back from the Romans all the way up until the Second World War. This is an example of a World War II era fortification called the Odeon. Many of its kind were planned to be built on the island, but this is the only one that ended up being But nature has begun to reclaim some of these man made fortifications. For example, we see swallows nesting in some of our bunkers. We have uh, terns forts along the coast. We also see animals hibernating in some of these buildings, such as bats and butterflies. Manet Pond is an artificial pond based on the site of an old quarry. Manet Bird Hide used to be the hotspot for dragonflies on Alderney, but due to an invasive species, the New Zealand pygmyweed, Crassula helmsi, it has been overrun and there's now no longer enough open water area to sustain a large dragonfly population. Our conservation volunteers do their best to manage the spread of this invasive species, but it is very difficult to dispose of once well established. The Longy Nature Reserve also extends into the marine environment. We've been doing a lot of work recently mapping the presence of eelgrass. Eelgrass is a really important habitat as a nursery for certain marine species. It's also forms which will be really important for the fight against climate change. We've also been doing a lot of rock pooling lately, trying to figure out the diversity of species that we get in our waters here. And we monitor the presence of certain species of crab that may have moved into the waters. As an island, Alderney is particularly vulnerable to invasive species. Our coastal plant species are threatened by the presence of this invasive plant called sour fig, which includes several similar carbon species. It forms dense mats that can completely alter the soil pH and choke. 
choke out other native plants. Our conservation volunteers remove as much of this plant as possible from the coast in our reserve. Thank you for joining me on our virtual tour of the Lunge Nature Reserve. Don't forget to follow us on social media to learn more about Aldenese wildlife.